there! Today, I'm going to take you 2,000 years back in time. We'll be meeting Peter, one of Jesus' disciples. Peter was chosen by Jesus to be the rock on which to build the church. So he was going to take responsibility for the Christians. Peter loved Jesus and wanted to do what Jesus asked him to do. The problem was just that he didn't quite manage it. He wasn't really that brave or, or strong. But still, Jesus had a plan in mind. This was their last night together, just before Jesus would be crucified. Simon Peter, I have prayed to God for you, that your faith should not fail. Lord, I'm ready to go with you both into prison and to death. I tell you, Peter, this very night before the rooster crows, you will deny three times that you even know me. Me? No, 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 I would never. same evening, Jesus was taken prisoner and led to the high priest. Hey, I know you. You're also with Jesus, the one who they just imprisoned. No, I don't know him. Oh yes, you do. You're one of Jesus' disciples. No, I'm not. Oh yes, you're also from Galilee. You were with Jesus. No, I have no idea what you're talking about. Jesus died on the cross and was in the kingdom of death for three days. But then he rose from the dead and was with his disciples for 40 days. He strengthened them and talked with them about the things that belong to the kingdom of God. But now you shall go to Jerusalem, where you shall wait for the promise from my Father. You shall be baptised with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. Is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to the people of Israel? It is not for you to know the times or seasons which God has established by his own authority. But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you shall tell people about me in Jerusalem and everywhere and to the end of the earth. Why are you standing here, looking up at the sky? Jesus will come back, in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. It is true. Let's go back to Jerusalem, like Jesus told us, and wait there while we pray.
After 10 days, the Holy Spirit was sent to earth and a whole new time started for humanity. As you can see, Jesus knew that Peter would deny him, even though Peter's greatest wish was to be his disciple. It was only a matter of time before they got the strength of the Holy Spirit and would get the courage to stand firm as a rock. And the same goes for us. Jesus has a plan for us. When we want to follow him but feel too weak, he will help us so we get all the strength we need to fight the good fight of faith. Next time, you'll hear exactly what happened with Peter and the other disciples now that they've got the Holy Spirit. But for now, thanks for following along with this story. I'll see you again in the next episode of Bible Heroes of Faith. See ya!